Alpha Theta have just unveiled their latest update to their application, Recordbox, improving both performance and organization aspects of the software. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the new features that are jam-packed into this version of Recordbox. And it's to be noted, although we're seeing improvements across the organization and performance aspects of this Recordbox software, Stems has not been updated, but some work on the back end has been made, so we can probably expect to see some updates coming very soon. Overall, the user interface has undergone some significant changes. We can see it appears more sleeker, more streamlined, and even the traditional tree view has now turned into a column view, allowing for quick library browsing. By adopting a more minimalistic approach in the user interface, Recordbox 7 feels more spacious than ever. It's clearly evident when we look at the streaming services and how we can browse them as well as our collection. We can now enjoy an enhanced visibility of our tracks and can effortlessly explore collections based on favorite artists, labels, and genres. So with the cosmetic improvements addressed, let's actually delve deep into what Recordbox 7 has to offer. First off, let's delve into one of my favorite features, the AutoQ memory queue function. This does it by analyzing our behavior and patterns and replicates them on our new tracks, which we import into our collection. We can then further delve deep into this by going to our settings and moving to analysis and then queue analysis. Users can further customize settings within this. While the technology continues to evolve, opting for auto queue utilizes existing data, like I said previously. But alternatively, you can use the manual set queue repetition intervals. A standout aspect of this feature is being able to choose between memory queues and hot queues. And while hot queues are amazing for performance aspects, myself personally, I love to use memory queues to set up points in tracks which I really want to skip to quickly. And when I'm on a CDJ3000, I just use the left and right button on the memory queue selection. Continuing the trend of AI integration, Recordbox now employs machine learning to discern mood and vibe variations across your tracks offering a tailored suggestion of mixes which are compatible. Users then can refine the selection by adjusting parameters like BPM range, key, and vocal presence. Next up, we've seen changes in export mode. In export mode, users can demo tracks without the need of consistently adjusting deck-to-deck -deck transitions on the computer. We can do this by linking the two tracks together. Additionally to this, we can then also apply an EQ, adjust the speed, add key sync and beat sync as well. Personally, in Recordbox 6, I used to use this feature a lot, but it had some downsides. If you had two tracks playing at the same time, you would have to cue them as if you were on your decks. And on top of that, once the two tracks were playing, you would have to then also suffer with both basses and EQs just being generally on which although this is fine when you're mixing at home, it is nice now this feature has been actually incorporated into the export mode so you can truly get to feel of what your tracks will sound like together rather than just relying on the user interface that we previously had. And finally, we now have collaborative playlists. Although this feature is exclusive to the professional plan, this is a warm welcome. For DJs who like to go back to back or if you're in a duo, you now can share playlists together. But it does have some drawbacks, but they are to be expected. Firstly, you both must have the same streaming services available. And if not, and if you're using them directly from your collection, you must both have the file inserted on your hard drive or the database you're drawing from for Recordbox 7. And there you have it. Those are some of the key features that are jam packed into Recordbox 7. If you have any questions in relation to Recordbox 7, feel free to give us a call on our technical helpline. We're here to help and we've probably experienced every single form of error that you can imagine. So if you have any issues with setting up your controller, going to HID mode, exporting or general inquiries, feel free to give us a call. And don't forget, we offer 0% finance across a wide range of units, including the CDJ3000s, XDJXZ and RX3. So feel free to give us a call and get in contact and we'll be here to help. With that being said, it's been myself, Jono from Bop DJ, and we'll see you next time.